day everyone and welcome back to this week's episode of Financial Chats with your girl, Silly. The topic for this week is your credit report, your credit score. What does it mean? Why do you need it? Why do you need to check up on it? Is it really that important? Stay tuned because we shall discuss these topics. Um, ik maak een routine, ik is nou terug. Maak zo lang, ik moet zo maar, maak zo lang. Oh, oh. Take note guys that none of my videos or content constitute as financial advice. Should you seek financial advice, please contact individuals and institutions that are certified and registered with the FHCA and the NCR. Right, so credit scores, credit reports. What are they? <laughs> okay. To give you a nice explanation, your credit report is simply a report that contains all of your credit history. My mom always used to joke and be like, oh my kind, as you need your ID for a and signal your yellow bisaki. And truth be told, they do see your whole business. So it contains your whole payment history. That includes your payment histories, okay? Your creditors that you have, all your um, defaults that you have, whether how many times you've skipped an account, um, judgments against your name, if you have garnish orders on your salary payslip, if you are under debt administration, if you are under debt counseling, all those things will be listed on your credit report, guys. Right? Where the credit score comes into place is Based on the activities on your credit report, you will get a score, okay? Now, all the different types of credit that you have, each of them has like a weight category, right? So each of those categories, rather, has a weight attached to it, okay? So you're, if you have a bunch of credit cards, if you have a bunch of store accounts, um, if you have a bunch of loans, whatever type of loans you have, you know, personal loans or home loan, or if there's too many people that's doing an, a credit inquiry on your name, that's also going to be listed on your report, right? So all those different categories, they have a weight, percentage weight, okay? And based on how your behavior is in those categories, you will get a score. And that's how they build up your credit score. Now, what I will do is, yeah, I will put up the, a picture for you guys so that you can see the different types of credit score and where you should be laying in, okay? You can check that out quickly there. Also, I will put in down the links below of a stunning website that explains everything for you in detail, okay? So if you are more interested in that, check out my description box below. So that's your credit score and your credit report. Now, who are these people that are doing these things? Like, why do they even have all that information on you? Guys, guys, you know, these creditors and financial institutions and the bureaus, which is the credit bureaus. Now, those guys, I feel like they are like brother and sister, you know, they love each other very much. They work liquor together because the moment you take out credit okay and someone grants you credit that institution company creditor is going to give that information send it to the credit bureau and be like yay oh gee he's not here now there you go you know that's what they do and they are constantly in connection with one another so everything that you do to your creditors that creditors sends the information to the bureaus okay now the bureau Credit bureau specifically, the term bureau means like an organization or institution that collects a bunch of data and they turn that data into information slash reports, right? So whenever the creditors need a report, 
they can just be like um brother sister send me that report quickly thank you thank you thank you and then bobs your uncle and then they get the report on you so hence that's how the connection is okay whatever you do with your creditors your creditors sent to the bureau and the bureau is just like hey thank you thank you know updating updating checking check, 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 check. it's a constant update on your credit activity so that is the bureaus in case you are wondering where your data comes from why is it always why these people know everything that is the connection who are these bureaus? To give you an example of a bureau, credit bureau, we have CompuScan, which is a South African um, bureau. There is TransUnion, also another one, South African bureau. There is Experian. They are, I think they, that's an international company, or I think it is an international company. And that international company actually owns CompuScan, and they also own ClearScore. ClearScore is stunning, guys. There's also another company. Remember, I'll put links below. ClearScore is a bureau that gives you your score, your credit score every month. It updates your score every month for you. So if you are interested in that, go to ClearScore. It's absolutely free of charge. Free, free, free. So check them out. You can get... Lock your profile there, put your ID number in, and Bob's your uncle. So they are the bureaus, okay? Those are the, the, the well-known bureaus in South Africa. My brothers and sisters, you want to have a good credit record because that will put you in a position of negotiating for better interest rates. If you are someone that pays your account every month, you are on time with all your payments, you never skip anything, and you pay your accounts or loans off within the term that has been given to you in the first place, you are stunningly in that aspect. That means that you will have a beautiful credit score and your report won't have any bad or information on it. You can use that to your advantage. Because you can go to bank A for a loan, for instance, or a home loan specifically, A. Let's say a home loan. You can go to bank A. You can ask them for to give you a better rate. If they give you 11% interest rate, you can be like, but whoa, whoa, whoa. Whoa. Did you see my beautiful record? Did you see my stunning credit score? I don't think so. Bring that thing down. You can negotiate. And if they don't want to negotiate, then you can be like, okay, ma'am, thank you, bye. Next bank. And you go to that bank and you tell them, listen, yeah, I was now at this other bank and they gave me 11% and I feel that that is very wrong. Give me a 10% or maybe a 9.7%, something like that, but negotiate. You are in a position to negotiate with your credit score. Isn't that lovely? Isn't that Lovely. You don't have a credit score. You don't have a credit report. You're not interested in going for a loan. You are not about that business. So hence, you just can't get credit nowhere because there's, not, there's no information, right? Imagine, imagine, you know Sarah, okay? Sarah down the road as a chick that always comes and borrows money, right? She is that person that she will come and she will ask you something till end of the month and you will give. But come end of the month, then Sarah always has an excuse. Or Sarah feels like, no man, she's not going to pay you because she doesn't feel that you actually need the money, man. She feels that you are okay, you are doing good, you don't need the money, so she's just not going to pay you. Done. You know those Sarahs, yeah. Mm, mm. You know that information. So hence, the next time Sarah comes back to you, then you're going to be like, sorry, Sarah. Mm -mm. No, no ma'am, no ma'am. Because you know. Now, same principle applies with the banks and financial institutions. If you come to them, you want to borrow money from them, they're going to be like, but... I can't find any information on you. How do you expect me to give you money if I don't know nothing about you? 
No ma'am, no ma'am. So are you guys following me? Are you with me, right? So that's the reason why you need to take out a simple account, whether it is a small clothing account or a phone, a cell phone contract even. That'll also help you a lot, okay? Treat that account beautiful. Be nice to that account. Don't worry. It is not the end of the world for you. You can change it. Your status today does not need to be the same in 18, 6, 18 or 12 months. You understand? You can change your profile and make it favorable for yourself. Right? How do you fix it? By paying off your debt. <laughs> You need to pay off your debt. You need to tackle certain accounts. You need to um, clear your name, your profile, so that it can look good, right? Start paying your accounts monthly. Start make, drawing up a plan of how to tackle a certain account. And give yourself a two-year time frame to just, you know, refresh everything and just make things nice for you on your credit report. That way, you know, after 18 months, two years, that way you know for sure that your report is going to give good results. You know, it's going to not be as bad as it was. So, yes, there's always hope. You don't have to stay in that bad status of not having a good credit score. You don't need to stay like that. You can improve your credit score. You can improve your credit score. And I highly recommend that you download or register yourself on Clear Score because they give you a monthly update. That way you can keep track of what you are doing and whether what you are doing is actually working or if it's not working. The other thing is we need to check up on our reports every year what i mean by that is every year once a year rather we are entitled to a free credit report free of charge every year the nice thing about that is the fact that do you actually know like when you get your report and you check what's happening on there have you actually gone out and taken that loan do you have this furniture account do you have that clothing account is that really supposed to be on your name that type of thing you know so it's a good thing to check your report and make sure that there's no identity theft or fraudulent stuff that's happening there on your name. So go on to those um, websites. I will put the links down below. Check them out and request your report. All you need to do is just type in your ID number and Bob's your uncle. And lastly... Your credit score and your credit profile, it is something that sticks with you throughout your entire life. You know, there are some of us that believe that um, they don't like taking out credit or debt. You know, they don't, they don't want to accumulate debt and hence they don't have a credit record. So there's nothing on record, right? But as we progress in life, as our circumstances changes and we evolve as human beings, we tend to find out that, yay, I need to actually go to the bank and get a loan because I want to make a huge purchase that I can't do with cash. You understand? So, and those things is obviously like your cars and, and, and home and a, a huge business loan, for instance, you know, those type of things. So then you need to go to a bank. Guys, if you have any suggestions, if you have any questions, you know, Put it down in the comment section and, and let's have a nice discussion regarding this credit score thing. And, and, and let's see how you feel about it. Like, do you, do you care or don't you care? You know, what, 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 what are your thoughts? Please share them down below. I would love to hear your thoughts and, and, and let the next person also, you know, learn from your comments. Thank you for tuning in. See y'all next time. Bye. Did you subscribe? That red, you're waking up, you're waking up.